Hi, I'm John Beckett. Welcome to the Under the Ancient Oaks Summer Solstice Ritual. Before we begin, I'd like to tell you what you need to know to participate where you are. You're welcome to simply follow along in the ritual, but if you'd like to participate, repeat the calls of hail and welcome and such. When I light the central candle, light your candle. Pour offerings along with me. I'm sure whatever you have will be acceptable, so long as you don't offer the cheap stuff and keep the good stuff for yourself. When we're done with the main working, we'll share a drink among ourselves. When the ritual is over, be sure to dispose of the offerings in a respectful manner. Pouring them on the ground is ideal. You may want to leave them on your altar for a day or two. Pouring them down the drain is not recommended. The deity of the occasion is the Morrigan, the Irish goddess of sovereignty, of battle, and of the aftermath of battle. Her stories are told in the ancient Irish literature, and there is evidence she was worshipped throughout the Celtic world. Of all the goddesses and gods moving in our world today, perhaps none is as active as the Morrigan. She's calling some people to serve as priests. She's calling some to serve as warriors. And she's calling some to serve as ravens, doing the dirty but necessary work of clearing the land in the aftermath of conflicts. As far as I know, the Morrigan has no connection to the solstice in lore or in function. But I have oaths to her, so when she said she wanted to be the focus of the ritual, of course I said yes. I encourage you to listen for her presence and to respond as seems right to you. And now that our preparations are over, let us take three breaths together with the earth beneath us together with the sky above us together with the sea around us let us now begin our celebration of the summer solstice Let us now cast the circle to create sacred space in which to work. Let us now invite the spirits of the elements and the directions to join our circle. Spirits of the east, spirits of air, we call to you. Join our circle, we ask, and bless us with your wisdom. Teach us the ways of vision and judgment. Spirits of the east and of air, hail and welcome. Spirits of the South, spirits of fire, we call to you. Join our circle, we ask, and bless us with your inspiration. Teach us the ways of creation and growth. Spirits of the South and of fire, hail and welcome.
Spirits of the West, spirits of water, we call to you. Join our circle, we ask, and bless us with your love. Teach us the ways of compassion and intuition. Spirits of the West and of water, hail and welcome. Spirits of the North, spirits of Earth, we call to you. Join our circle, we ask, and bless us with your abundance. Teach us the ways of patience and stability. Spirits of the North and of Earth, hail and welcome. I now invite you to light your own candle. This flame is the intersection of all times, all directions, and all worlds. It is united with flames lit around the country and around the world, and with the flames that burn in the hearts of those who celebrate the solstice with us today. We who cannot be together in body, join together in spirit at this sacred center. We make this offering that our journeys may be safe and fruitful. Spirits of the land, spirits of this place, spirits of all the places where we gather, we thank you for sharing this place with us. We ask your protection and blessing on this sacred right that we may learn and grow in honor and in friendship. Accept this offering, we ask, given in hospitality and in love. Spirits of the land, hail and welcome. Ancestors of blood and ancestors of spirit, you whose children we are and on whose foundations we build, because of you we have life. May we continue your lines in power and strength, and may we live so as to be worthy of the honor of those who come after us. Accept this offering, we ask, given in hospitality and in love. Mighty ancestors, hail and welcome. Hail to the fair folk, those of the courts of the various queens, and those who are aligned with no one in this world or in the other. We honor you as our good neighbors. We make this offering in hospitality and respect that our sacred work may be successful and uninterrupted. Good neighbors, hail and welcome. We gather on the summer solstice, the longest day of the year. Today the sun rises the farthest north on the eastern horizon and sets the farthest north on the western horizon as it will all year. Here in North Texas, we have 14 hours and 21 minutes of daylight. In Seattle, it's a few seconds short of 16 hours. And in Kirkwall, in the Orkney Islands, it's almost 18 and a half hours. I'm a druid, and in any normal year, druids and thousands of others would be gathering at Stonehenge to mark the solstice sunrise. But that tradition began in the 1860s. Stonehenge had been built, rebuilt, and abandoned long before the first druid ever walked in Britain. The layout of Stonehenge makes it far more likely it was built to mark the sunset at the winter solstice. 
we don't know what the ancient Druids did at the summer solstice. Still, the longest day of the year is worth celebrating. Here in Texas, the truly oppressive heat has yet to come, but it will come. But because we have passed the solstice, we know the days are getting shorter, and eventually the heat will recede. Likewise, although we do not have a precise timetable, we know the current pandemic, too, will eventually recede. And so we light this candle in honor of the sun at the height of his power. Hail, O mighty sun, we honor you on this, the longest day, at the pinnacle of your power, you who shone long before the earth formed. We give thanks to you for your warmth and light, for without you no life could exist on earth. We ask your blessings as the season of summer begins. Mighty sun, join in this celebration of the solstice, we ask, and add your blessings to this rite. Mighty Son, hail and welcome. Morrigan, Battle Raven, Lady of Sovereignty, we ask you to join our circle and bless us with your presence. You who gives the right to rule and who challenges us to rule rightly, be welcome here. Show us our strength, we ask, so we can uphold the great work of this time and place. Great Queen, let us fight by your side until peace is won. Accept this offering, we ask, given in hospitality and in love. Morrigan, hail and welcome. Summer solstice is a time to celebrate life. But this solstice, death is in our presence and on our minds. We give thanks for those who comfort the dying, and we give thanks for those who help the dead make their crossing from this life to the next. Chooser of the slain, we ask your blessings on their work. The pandemic has not stopped war and injustice. We give thanks for those who fight the very real battles that must be fought, for those who support them in their efforts. Battle Raven, we ask your protection for our warriors of all kinds. Fill them with your inspiration, we ask, that they may be victorious. Whether for, from disease or injustice, the damage to our land is real. The damage to our society is greater still. We give thanks for those who, re who repair what can be repaired, who rebuild what can be rebuilt, and who prepare the land and the people for new growth. Lady of Sovereignty, we ask you to empower them to build a world where all can thrive. May your ravens be busy with their sacred work. The search for deeper connections and deeper meaning continues in all times. Along with many other deities, the Morrigan calls those she chooses into ecstatic communion with her and into first-hand experiences of her. In doing so, 
she brings us into a greater embodiment of her values and her virtues. Great Queen, we thank you for your presence in the lives of those who have responded to your call. And we ask you to speak to those who would hear you now. The work of the Morrigan takes many forms, fighting battles and supporting fighters, cleaning up the aftermath of battle, caring for the dead and dying, and performing acts of devotion and worship that bring us into closer communion with the Great Queen. Perhaps you are called to this work. Perhaps you are called to support someone who serves the Great Queen and her mission. I ask you now to listen for her presence for her call. defeated the, the Fomorians at the Battle of Moritura, the Morrigan pronounced this blessing. Peace to the sky, sky to earth, earth below sky, strength in each one, a cup over full, filled with honey, sufficiency of renown, summer and winter, spears supported by warriors, warriors supported by forts, forts fiercely strong. Banished are sad, sad outcries. Crops on trees, a branch resting, resting with produce. Borders declaring prosperity, green growing after spring. Autumn increase of horses, a troop for the land, a land that goes in strength and abundance. Be it a strong, beautiful wood, long lasting a great boundary. Have you a story? Peace to the sky, 
be it so lasting to the ninth generation. We have gathered together, we have invited our allies, we have made offerings, and we have heard the call of the Morrigan. I now invite you to join me and them in a glass of wine or whatever you choose to drink. Let us now thank those who have aided us in our right. Morrigan, battle goddess and lady of sovereignty, great queen, we thank you for your presence and your blessings. May we always honor you in freedom and in power. Hail and farewell. Mighty she, we are glad our work tonight went well. May there be peace between us now and forever. Hail and farewell. Mighty ancestors, we thank you for your presence and blessings. May our time together renew and strengthen our connections across many generations and across many realms. Hail and farewell. Spirits of the land, spirits of all the places where we are, we thank you for your presence and your blessings. May there be honor and hospitality between us now and in the future. Hail and farewell. Spirits of the north, spirits of earth, spirits of the west, spirits of water, spirits of the south, spirits of fire, spirits of the east, spirits of air, we thank you for your presence and your blessings. Hail and farewell. We extinguish the central flame, and as we do, we leave the sacred center and return to our homes around the world. But we know that as we have come together tonight, so we can come together in the future, even if we cannot gather around the same fire. Summer solstice marks the high point of the sun. Now the days are getting shorter, and we know the sun will decline for the next six months. We do not know how long the challenges of this most unusual, most difficult year will last. But we know they will not last forever. The Morrigan calls us to fight the fights that are necessary and to take on the tasks of the aftermath of battle. May we work by her side until peace is won. The rites of the summer solstice are now complete. May the blessings of the Morrigan be with us now and in the days to come. <laughs> 